I'm Otter, and I have a lot of bad ideas. This week's bad idea is called Pillow Fight, and it's my most convoluted bad idea yet, so hopefully you'll stick with me. Here's your back of the box summary. If movies have taught us anything, it's that teenage girls are to be feared. Enter the competitive world of the fight to become prom queen at a Hilltown High. To win the crown, you'll need to have the best reputation, fueled by having cute accessories and cute boys. Watch out though, your rivals will attempt to steal what you have, and if given half a chance, they'll reveal your darkest secrets to the whole school. The tension boils over in bloody sleepover pillow fights. Come prepared with your PJs and a pillow stuffed with bricks, oranges, or thumbtacks. Deal enough damage to steal from your opponents and get one step closer to the crown. So I mentioned up top that pillow fight is my most convoluted idea ever, and Normally at the start of these videos, I give you a little bit of background on where this idea came from. Um, here's a smattering of, I think, how all of these elements came together and formed this very dumb idea. Um, so Pretty Pretty Princess, if you're not familiar with it, it was a child's game that was popular when I was a kid back in the 90s, and it was basically a board game where the goal was to get the most material objects and that somehow made you the most valuable person and therefore the winner, which has always been hilarious to me. Also a little bit of Legion, just knowing how violent and awful some teenagers can be. Mario Party, which has always been one of my favorite things to do with friends, um, ruining friendships via Mario Party. A little bit of Boyfriend Dungeon, which is like an RPG that you should check out if you haven't. The combat system is really fun. It's this isometric top-down 2D, which definitely will play into Pillow Fight, as you'll see. And then a little bit of Mean Girls, this whole idea that things that are hyper-feminine are also obviously hyper-evil, and just I always thought that's really interesting as a concept. Um, so all of this sort of amalgamated into this weird idea in my head. So Pillow Fight is an online game with four to eight players, and each of you takes on the persona of a teenage girl who is running to become the prom queen at Hilltown High. As I mentioned, this is a digital board game, so all of the characters will be on this fairly linear board. Um, there's squares along the way. We'll talk about what happens when you land on sp certain special squares, but the end of this linear board is prom. When someone lands on that square, the game ends, and whoever has the most points acquired at that point will win the game and become prom queen. So how do you acquire points? Well, in addition to the digital board game that you'll all be moving around, you'll also have cards. Uh, you start the, card, the game with a hand of cards, and then each round, as the players go around rolling dice to see how far they go on the board, you also get to draw a card from the deck. There's a couple different types of cards, the first being this purse card, meaning an accessory card. These are the basic point value cards of the game. Each one is worth one point. Um, and basically they're things like jewelry, purses, shoes, you know, the material goods that teenagers think are cool. The next up is boy cards. These are very similar to accessory cards um, because we're boiling people down into blatant tropes and stereotypes for this game, which is funny to me. I don't know. And basically, they're like accessory cards. They give you a point value, but they also have special effects on the game, which we'll talk about a little bit later. The bricks symbolize weapon cards. These are things that you can stuff into your pillow to make it do more damage, or otherwise impact the combat rounds of the game, which we'll talk about in a little bit. And last up is secret cards. These are things that are embarrassing secrets that any teenager in America might have, uh, which they wouldn't want revealed. And so we'll talk about how those play into the game as well. You're probably saying, Otter, this game is called Pillow Fight and all you've talked about so far is cards and a board. I don't understand. Okay, so as you're going around the board, if a character lands on a sleepover square, that's when the pillow fight kicks off. So at that point, all of the players will go into sort of this 2D isometric battle royale where you're running around, beating the crap out of each other, but instead of using traditional weapons, you would, of course, be armed with pillows. Now, if you have any of those weapon cards in your hand that modify your combat, those would be applied here. So maybe your pillow does extra damage because you stuffed it full of rocks. Maybe you can move faster because you somehow looted like a cool pair of shoes or something. Whatever those combat modifiers are, they would be applied here as you try to beat the crap out of your opponents with your weaponized pillow. So why is it important to do well in the pillow fight? 
well because depending on how much damage you do to your opponents or how much damage they do to you, everyone gets a chance to steal from the opponents that they beat the crap out of in the pillow fight round. So you want to make sure that you're coming out on top, you're getting to steal, you're not getting stolen from. What happens if you're able to steal is you will be presented with the person's cards that you get to steal from. They're face down, you can't see them. Uh, they're actual values, you just have to pick randomly. If you get an accessory or a boy card, great, you get to add that to your hand and keep it. If you get a weapon card, same thing, you get to add it to your hand and keep it to apply to the next combat round. But if you get a secret card, that's where things really get interesting. Because if you get a secret card, you get to reveal that secret. And it's things like, oh, she actually got an A in math, what a nerd. Or she made out with Stacy's boyfriend before they broke up. Ugh, that B. And what those do is they deal permanent reputation damage to the player whose secret is being revealed. So at the end of the game, that damage modifier will need to be applied to their score. So let's say you end the game, you have five points of value based on the cards currently in your hand. But earlier in the game, someone revealed a secret like this math one, so you need to subtract three from that and you'll only have two points going into that final prom queen runoff. So really important that you're trying to get rid of secrets as fast as you can and making sure that you are doing well in the pillow fight so you can expose other people's secrets and not have your own exposed. You're probably saying, why wouldn't I just get rid of the secret? Here's the thing. You can only discard when you land on a discard space on the board, and at that point you can only discard one card. So you're probably going to be accumulating secrets faster than you can get rid of them all, um, because that's how teenagers operate, frankly. So kind of a fun little mechanic to make sure that you're trying to divest as much threat out of your portfolio, essentially, as you can, but it's going to build up and your secrets are going to be revealed. So I mentioned that the accessory cards and the boy cards both give you point values for your hand, but the boy cards, because they're made up of individuals, also can apply special modifiers to the game. So here's some examples of what that could look like. You've got Thomas Washington, he's the star quarterback of Hilltown High, so he gets beyond his just plus one value for being a boy card. He also gets a bonus plus three reputation for that final prom queen count if you have him in your hand when the game ends. Tyler is an interesting card. He's a nerd, so he'll use his hacking powers to protect you. Um, if someone is going to reveal your secret, you can use Tyler to make sure that that can't be done. Now, if you get the crap beat out of you in a pillow fight round and more than one secret is going to be revealed, Tyler is only able to prevent the one, but still a really powerful card to have in your hand. Adam is the resident skateboard kid at Hilltown High, so he bestows a speed bonus in melee rounds. Um, so in that pillow fight, you'd be able to move 10% faster. And then Chad Chadwickson, dumb as a pile of bricks, but his dad has a ton of money, so you get to enjoy the most expensive item of all of the material goods that you have. So you get a plus one value to every accessory in your hand, so it essentially doubles their value. So again, boys are basically just accessories in this game, except they have these special modifiers attached to them. And then where I think it could get really interesting is in terms of discarding. So I mentioned that there's no limit to the number of cards you can have in your hand, but you're only able to discard one card per every time you land on a discard square on the board. Well, we could also add in some mechanic where if you get too many boys in your hand and you're not discarding them and making those hard decisions as far as who to let go, you make them all feel cheap so they all leave your hand. So again, just another one of those risk reward mechanics to add into a game to see how that balances out. So once someone lands on the prom square, the game is over and it's time to add up points and figure out who is going to be the prom queen. So you add up the value of all of your accessories and any boy cards that you have in your hand. You apply any special modifiers, like if someone gives a bonus to reputation or added value to those accessory cards. Then you subtract out any permanent reputation damage you have from a secret being revealed at some point in the game. The game will do all of this for you since it's digital and online and no one likes doing math. At that point, whoever has the highest number of points becomes the prom queen and gets to live out their greatest aspiration of all time, um, has their happy ending, everyone else is miserable and cries very much. 
and that is Pillow Fight. It's just sort of a dumb, funny party game that plays on these tropes of teenage high school girls being monsters, which is always funny to me. Um, thanks for sticking through this one. I know it was a little all over the place. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Have a good one. Hey, it's me, Cabinet Otter. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more, or come hang out with me live on Twitch. See you soon!